Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my Romance Reveal book box. As you can see, if you watch my channel, this book is, box is bigger than it has been. So last month they started a new 8 book box subscription, uh, or a 6 to 8 book box subscription. So I am now doing the 8 book box. Um, so yes, let's get started. So first things first, you're going to get a pill and a reveal sticker, which is, mine's a little broken, but it looks like that. And then you get a bag of swag. So let's see. So the first one I see is a smart girl, smart girls read romance, which is a book cozy. And then it has the Romance Reveal book box logo. Then we have a magnet for a Irish cocktail. Then a bookmark. Um, my Week with the Bad Boy by Brooke Copeland and La Laura Parsh Parish. Sorry. And then we have a Bad Boy Bad Boy Alphas with a heart for only one woman woman and then it's signed then we got a little card for my falling for the bad boy by Kennedy Fox then we have um, a coloring page by Renee um, Hardless and then we also have a pen and it's proud romance reader romance reveal book and Pink. And then we have one candle, and it is my Caribbean Escape. Ooh, it smells very good. And then I have a Give Me a Reason by Jennifer Miller card. There is supposed to be candy. Oh, I see it. And then we have a lollipop. There might be some more. Oh, yep, I see another one. Um, so there's two candies, and then... For this month, um, I get nine books because they have some 100 and Dark Knight books. So let's just get started showing you my books. The first one I have is Living Out Loud by Stacey Hart. I have not read a Stacey Hart book. Um, I have almost all of her books. I just have not read one of hers. Um, and this is signed. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, I love when books are like this. Okay, it's supposed to be signed, but I don't see a signature. I don't know. I don't see a signature. Oh, there it is. I see it. I found it. It's right here. There we go. It looks like mine has, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, this one is a little, a uh, little different because um, it does, it has two like starting pages, which is totally fine. I don't care. But like you see this, and then if you, like it starts. So you get that, and then you get, but again, I don't mind, but yes. And then I got the Controversial Princess by Jodi Ellis, Ellen Malpas, maybe? I'm sorry. She wrote um, this man series, which I also have not read, and it's signed, so super exciting. And then I got Hot Assets by Lauren Laney. It's signed. Then I got Melt For You by J JT Glistener. There's no way I got that right, sorry. Um, and it's signed. And then I got Night Shift by Carrie, or Car, Car, is it Carrie? I don't know, sorry. Um, Del, 
DeVito's, again, no way I got that right, signed, then I got Defense List, Defense List by Elizabeth Dyer, signed, then I saw this one, and it is Unconventional Love by Kelly Elliott. And this is book one in her Journey of Love series, which I've read and I loved. And it's signed. And this is the new cover. And it's gorgeous. And I'm so excited that I got this. Um, and yes, really, really excited. And this book is way bigger than I thought it was. And if you've watched my channel, you know Kelly Elliott is one of my favorite authors. I love her, so yes. And then the two 100 and Dark Knight books I got. I got Dark, uh, Ride Dirty, a Raven Riders novella by Lauren Kay. And this one's signed. I also got a bookmark with this. And then I got the Bedmates. A Roommate Novella by Kendall Ryan, which I've actually read some of her books. And this one's signed right there. So those are the books I got, so I'll recap. I got uh, Right Dirty, The Bedmate, Unconditional Love, Defenseless, Night Shift, Melt For You, Hot, hot Assets, The Conventional Princess, and Living Out Loud. So I'm super excited about all of those books. If you've read any of these, what did you think of them? And I'll leave the links down below for the Romance Reveal book box. Um, this one is more expensive. Um, it is like $97 and some change. Um with shipping and all that um but you get eight books swag and candy um i personally think how i look about it out it is that i get eight signed books and maybe if throughout the month those are the only eight books i buy so really it's not horrible um but i know next month i'm gonna go over my eight books because it's my birthday, so I'm going to allow myself to buy some books, because um, I have actually been fairly good. Um, I did go to a book signing this month, though, in the beginning of June, and got a few. So, but anyways, I've been fairly good for the year. Um, so those are all the ones I got. Again, if you've read any of these, comment down what you thought, which ones I should pick up first. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.